Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, June 28th. <laughs> I was testing to see if Mickey would go get his ball. <laughs> He's got a poop bag on his foot. Cover up his bandage. I was just using cling wrap and I was having to use so much. I was just like, somebody mentioned in the comments, I just used a poop bag. So I put a poop bag on. Miggy, let's show him your foot. Let's show him your foot. So come here. I want to show him your foot. So put a poop bag on and then just wrap some cling wrap or not cling wrap press and seal glade press and seal around it to keep it tight on there so it don't come off <laughs> you still want to play ball? you still want to play ball with a hurt foot really he um i don't think you should i don't think you should you got to hurt Toto. You got to hurt Toto. Um, he woke up about six in the morning and threw up. Threw up some of his dinner. So I don't know if it was from the pain meds, if it was from the anesthesia. Not sure, but I had some anti-nausea pills on hand. Um, from when Mozzie had to take them. So I gave him an anti-nausea pill. Gave him half his breakfast this morning, and he's been fine so far. What are you doing, Milo? Milo! No, no. Um, he's been good so far. He's limping a little, and I don't know if it's because of the bandage or if it's because his foot hurts. I'm not sure. He'll limp sometimes and then not others. So, But he's doing good, um, besides throwing up at 6 in the morning. <laughs> um, I let him sleep on my bed last night. Um instead of putting him in his crate. And I noticed he started getting restless. He woke me up and ran to the back door and I couldn't just let him out of the back door because there's dew in the grass. So had to try to wrap his foot um, up to keep it dry and he threw up on the floor. So not his fault. He tried to get to the door. He would have got outside if I could have let him right out, but I couldn't, I had to wrap his foot, so. But he's doing much better. I just got back from the store. I'm having a problem with Mr. Mozzie over here. Yes, you are being very difficult this morning taking your pills. He has five pills he has to take in the morning. And I usually just wrap them with some cheese, some Kraft Singles. Just a little bit of cheese. And he's been doing this now for three years taking them. And all of a sudden... Um, a couple times this week, this past couple days, he hasn't wanted to take his pills. So I went to the store to try to find something else to put his pills in. I know there's pill pockets, um, but they're expensive. You don't get many. And I have one, two, three, four dogs that take pills. So <coughs> I found something else. So when I go inside... I'm going to show you what I picked up and um, we'll give the dogs a taste test, see if they like them. I'm sure they will. And try those out with pills tonight because Mozzie has to take three pills at night. He takes five pills in the morning, three pills at night. So we'll try out, I'll, I'll test them out too when I put the pills in them. And the reason I thought of these, um, what I picked up is our dog Ginger, who was before the Schnauzers, she was alive when we first got Mozzie. Um, never shared her on video. Um, I wasn't doing YouTube at the time. She was our shepherd mix that we rescued from the Humane Society. And she used to have to take a pill for incontinence. And um, we used to put her pill in a little slice of hot dog. I knew the boys couldn't have hot dogs, too high fat. So <laughs> I went looking for something else and I think I found um, something that'll work. So when I go inside, I'll show you what that is. And I wanted to let you know the, the haze, the smoky haze isn't as bad today. Let me zoom in. It's not as bad, but it's still there. And my throat has been so irritated from it. 
Um, so yeah, I'll be happy when it goes away. I know they say that we may have it off and on throughout the summer, but <laughs> I'll be happy when it goes away. <laughs> He's not letting that hurt toe in that poop bag on his foot. <laughs> Keep him down today. <laughs> All right. We'll be back in a minute. All right, so I thought I'd show you the, it's not Glade Press and Seal, it's Glad Press and Seal. I don't know what I said earlier, <laughs> but this is what I use to wrap around the poop bag to put on Mickey's foot, and this helps keep it um, tight, and it sticks really good. Um, this is way better than regular plastic wrap. And then I just use a pair of scissors because the bag is pretty long it's about this long so I cut it a little bit off so it's not so long on his leg um so yeah so we're gonna have to do that through tomorrow until I can take that um bandage off his foot so this is what I had to use to get Mozzie's pills down his throat this morning because he would not take it in cheese he kept spitting about so I had to take them out of the cheese. You stick the pill at the end of this, um, this like rubber thing, push it in there and it has like little slits so it can hold it. You gotta shove this in the back of their throat and then you push it and this little white thing pops up and pushes the pill out into their throat. It's called a, I call it a pill pusher. You can get it from your vet. I got mine from my vet. I think you can also order them on Amazon if you have a problem with a dog or cat uh, taking a pill. Um, yeah, so I had to use that this morning and I don't like doing it. <laughs> it makes me almost gag thinking about having it shoved down your throat. But this is what I was using to wrap their pills. Just the craft singles. Um, these are not the lowest in fat. Um, 4%, 4 grams fat per slice and 2.5 grams saturated fat per slice. So it wasn't the best thing to use, but this was the only way I could get them to take their pills. But like I said, Mozzie, for some reason, is giving me a problem lately um, in the morning taking his five pills after three years. So um, everybody else is still takes their pills fine. So I went out and to look for some kind of low-fat type of sausage. And this is what I found. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. But the air quality here is terrible. Um, ballpark white meat smoked turkey franks. 100% white turkey meat. I never knew these existed because I never looked for anything like this. Um, there is, let me get my glasses, but I'm pretty sure there's no fat. Um, when I was reading it in the store and I didn't have reading glasses with me. Um, total fat, zero grams, saturated fat, zero grams, trans fat, zero grams. So there is two grams of sugar, five grams carb. Um, but I'm just looking for the zero fat. So I'm going to cut one of these up. This is what they look like. I'm going to cut, um, cause I figure I'll just probably have to cut a little piece like that much stick a couple pills in it and we'll be good when Mozzie takes his five pills in the morning he may have to have two pieces but that's fine because these are zero fat so I'm going to cut one up and we're going to have them taste test and see how they do with it um just having it see if anybody gets sick from it or anything I don't think they will because it's just 100% white turkey meat and that's what I sometimes fry up for them the ground uh extra lean turkey meat and they eat it just fine. So let me cut one of these up and we'll let them do a taste test. All right, everybody is impatiently waiting <laughs> for a piece of sausage. Cut them up into seven pieces and then I cut a couple little pieces for the kitties to try. So like I said, I won't be cutting them this big um, when I need to put the pills in them. I don't think they'll have to be that big. Um, the package of eight was $5.99, I believe. So they're not really cheap, but 
if since it's zero fat and I just looked up the pill pockets on chewy.com pill pockets are 9% fat so that's even higher than the cheese so if I can get them to take their pills in this mozzie is who I'm really worried about <laughs> I'm taking them um this will be better even if it's a little bit more expensive and um the pill pockets I think will only fit like one or well they only fit one pill and like I said mozzie's got to take five so that would be a lot of fat he would be taking if I used the pill pockets. So, do you see Grant over there laying? <laughs> He's over by the doorway over there. Oh, right there. Um, he'll probably come once he sees all the other dogs wanting their getting their sausage. Okay. Uh, no, this is for Max. Max is out of camera. I know they're gonna like him. I know you're gonna like him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mozzie. Mozzie, you dropped it. Did you get it? Okay, Mozzie got it. Okay, here, Maggie. You like that? Huh, Marley? You like that sausage? That's even a good little treat for the dogs. Grant! Come here, Grant! You gonna come over here? Let me go give Grant his piece of sausage. Grant! Here's your sausage. Here's your sausage. Milo, you stop being a little thief. Grant likes it. He says, oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> you sliding, Grant? You sliding? He's like, where's more? Where's more? Let's see if Kitty likes it. Let's turn the camera. Let's see if we can turn it without knocking it over. Kitty, you want a piece of sausage? No, no, this is for the kitty. Watch out, Magnum. Magnum, watch out. Milo. Milo, no. Oh, kitty likes the sausage too. Why don't you take a piece out to Kitten? Let's go take a piece out to Kitten. All right come out and give Kitten a test, a taste test. You want to try some sausage? Some turkey so smoked sausage? Oh yeah, he says, oh, that's good. <laughs> that's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Kitten says it. he approves it too. Okay, so we will come back tonight when I have to put Mozzie's pills in it. And I got to give Miggy a pill too tonight, uh, his pain pill. And we'll see if they take them good in the sausage. All right, guys, it's the next day. It's Thursday. Um, thought I was videotaping last night and I, my camera wasn't on. I have gloves on because one of Mozzie's medications, the mecophenolate, you're supposed to wear gloves because if the powder gets on you, it can absorb into your system. So... So last night I tried it out and it worked, but it didn't work. It worked for the tablets that look like, like this, the hard tablets. This is uh, Grant's, but it didn't work for the capsules. These things here, he spit them out. <laughs> the thing with the cheese was when he would eat them with the cheese, he would um, just swallow it. He wouldn't chew, but with the sausage, he's, he wants to chew. So I put the tablets in this piece of sausage and then I thought I'll wrap the capsules in the cheese and see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This may not have been the brilliant idea I thought it was, but all right, let me um, wrap his capsules up in cheese. I'm just going to use a little teeny bit. Miggy's out crying in the front room because I guess I'm going to need that. Uh, we took his bandage off and everything's looking great. But he has a cone on because he don't want to leave it alone. And he's out there crying because he thinks he can't move with the cone on. And he knows I'm getting pills ready. So I'm going to have to... Um... <laughs> Remember I said Grant was a trooper? I can put a cone on him. I can put anything on him. And he'll just go about his business. He don't care. Miggy thinks he can't walk. <laughs> so let me get the camera. Get this. And we'll see how Mozzie does. With three of them. There's three uh, tablets in here. 
Um, and then the capsules being in cheese. We'll see if he eats it. Okay, he's anxiously awaiting. I gotta watch the other dogs because if a pill comes out, I don't want them to eat it. So we're gonna do the piece of, I'm just gonna call it a hot dog because it looks like a hot dog. I'm gonna do that first. Milo, come here. Okay, that went down good. Now let's give him his capsules and the cheese. <laughs> Where's our hot dog? Okay, there you go. Watch out. Nope, he spit it out. Oh my goodness. Come on, eat this too. Eat that too. Nope. I don't know what the problem is with the cheese. What's the problem with the cheese, Mozzie? What's the problem with the cheese? And these are expensive pills. These are compounded for him. And I can't afford to waste them. So I'm going to have to put on a glove and put it down his throat because I don't know if that'll fit on the pill popper uh, that big a piece. So, so yeah, my brilliant idea was not brilliant. <laughs> or I'll just give him the three and the sausage and then shove the capsules down his throat with the pill popper. I don't know why you're being difficult because he took his Denimarin this morning because he has to have it an hour um, before he eats. And he took that fine with cheese. I don't know what it is about this time of the day with his five pills. He's giving me such difficulty. I don't understand. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Got to get these pills down his throat. Um, let me show you Miggy out here. He's laying on a bed. Can you hear him out here whining? I hear you whining. You can walk with that on, you know. You can walk with that on. You hear him? You can walk with that cone on. He doesn't like the one that's more narrow that I bought for Grant. I think because it's so close to the face. So I tried this one and he don't like this one either. And the donut one I have, he can still get to his paw. So he can't wear that one. So he's going to be miserable for a couple days. Yes, he's going to be miserable. All right, let's get back to what I'm doing. I hope everybody has a great day. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.